Hi, today we're going to work on setting up our computer so we have Devolt soft software and keyboards and the Abyssinica font. So the first step is, and I'm going to show you what I'm doing here on the computer, so let me turn it around. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to search for Abyssinica SIL font. If you type that into Google, the first link will take you here, Abyssinica SIL. Go ahead and click and open that page. This is a very nice Unicode font and it'll be great to have us all on the same page. So what you need to do down over here is the download. Go ahead and click that. This will take us into their downloading page. And if you scroll down, you will come down to font downloads, which you can see here. So if you come and download this zip file and click that, and that will open a window. Go ahead and download that, open it. It is a zip file, which means you'll have to come here to extract all files. And when you click that, it will unpack everything. And what you need to do, go to this Abyssinica SIL.TTF, and you're going to put that in your fonts folder. If you don't know how to do that, what you do, go into control panels, open up your fonts folder, and just drag and drop that in. What you may have to do, click, press properties, and make sure that there isn't something that says hidden or unblock. If there's something that says unblock, go ahead and press that and hit OK. And that will make sure that the font is now active. That's great, and that takes us to the next step in our setup. So we'll come back over here. Now the program we're going to use is Default to Soft Keyman Desktop 8. So that's available at devoltasoft.com. Pardon my pronunciation if that's incorrect. Um, when you come here, you'll see download. Go ahead and open download. And it's going to ask you what language we're looking for. If you begin to type in Ethiopic, we'll get to this Gez language keyboard and font power pack. Open that and you'll have to come down here enter in your email and uncheck these if you don't want email updates and then download this will give you a 30-day trial in order to get the actual program it is twenty five dollars but once you click download and go through the standard download operations and that'll download it all into your computer and it'll open up a little tab you can see it here and when you open that it will install Ethiopic keyboard and Gaz keyboard now we also should install this SIL Ethiopic 1.3 keyboard so back in the Abyssinica SIL font download page that we were looking at just a minute ago a little bit below where we downloaded the keyboard we'll f or where we downloaded the font we'll find download keyboards so under this first one, you'll download that there, and then you'll go through the standard download operations, double click on it when it's been downloaded, and install it. And it will install into Keyman. There are a few things we can do to make Keyman even more useful for our purposes. So if you come here, go to configuration, it will open up a window and this is where you can set up things like hotkeys and hotkeys are especially helpful because they'll let us switch back and forth between the keyboard so if you want to type in Ethiopic you come over here and you program in whatever hotkey so you can see here I've used a custom hotkey control alt Y and when I press that that'll let me switch into that keyboard and you can program hotkeys for each of your keyboards. Another important thing to do that will really help is go to switch keyman desktop off and program a hotkey in there just by clicking it I've chosen control shift as you can see here now what that lets you do is let me back into a word doc here let's say that you've come and press control alt y and that has put us into our Gaz font and you're typing along and now 
you want to switch into English. If you press Control Shift, now that is turned off key man, and you're able to type in type in English characters as well. So, and just as easily, if you press Control Alt Y, it'll let you switch keyboards back into Ethiopic. One thing to make sure in is in your font when you're typing along you have to set which font you want to use. The font we want to be using is the one we just installed, Abyssinica SIL. That's 100% compatible with the keyboards that they provided which are Ethiopic Language Neutral and Gaez. And it's also compatible with SIL Ethiopic 1.3. The reason I've chosen to use Ethiopic Language Neutral is that it has this nice little keyboard there which you can use to either type by pressing the keys or you can learn the keystrokes on your keyboard in front of you. I hope that's a helpful tutorial and thank you.